You may be able to surmise from how clean this page is that I've never actually made this recipe before, so this is a bit of a learning curve for me as well. But it sounded interesting and it used chicken, therefore I could replace that with soya chunks and see how it went. You start by pickling an onion, so take a medium sized onion and cut it into thin slices. And then get all of the pickling ingredients together, which feels like a lot of stuff, but let's work through it and you'll see it's fairly simple. So to a bowl, add one tablespoon of sugar. And now I use a heaped teaspoonful of garlic powder and a half a teaspoon of chilli flakes. Then add one and a half teaspoons of lime juice and one and a half teaspoons of vegetable oil. I use sunflower oil. I then use one and a half teaspoons of apple cider vinegar because I didn't have rice vinegar and one and a half teaspoons of soy sauce because I didn't want to use the original fish sauce in the recipe. Stir up and you're ready to add the onions to this mixture and start the pickling process. Make sure all the onions are fully coated in the sauce and then leave them on the side whilst you move on to the next step, which is to make the salad or essentially a coleslaw. So I took one large carrot, peeled it and cut it in half, and then took about a third of a head of cabbage, which I attempted to weigh to get 200 grams. This comes to about 198 grams, so it's probably about right, or at very least close enough. I then decided to cheat by using my food processor to grate the vegetables. Would have worked a lot better had I remembered to use the right blade first time around, but it did the job, shredded the vegetables, and now I can move on to the next step. Taking a bunch of mint leaves and cutting them down finely so that they can also be mixed in with these vegetables. Now onto the soya chunks, and I'm using rice noodles here because they are both plant-based and quick and easy to use. So I boil the kettle with enough water to go over both the rice noodles and to rehydrate my soy chunks. It's not really a good idea to do them in a cup like this because they're better in a bowl, but I was trying to save on washing up. However, if you do do them in a cup, just make sure that you check that all of them are getting rehydrated, including the top ones. And once they are rehydrated and drained, you can pop them into a wok with a bit of oil and add some chicken seasoning to start flavoring them up. And then it's time to plate up. So first put all your vegetables into a bowl with the herbs and the noodles. Oh, my other half also have mushrooms, we'll ignore that though. Add in the onions and the chicken pieces and then stir everything in together. And you have an absolutely amazing and delicious meal. Every single mouthful of this meal is different. It really is worth making this. And yes, I added noodles into this to make it a little bit more substantial, particularly as we're eating it in the winter. But I think we will definitely make this again in the summer, even without the noodles, because it was so delicious. And just because I found it amusing, I've included the accidental vegan egg at the end. If I've made this recipe sound complicated in any way, then that was a huge mistake and I can only apologise. I really do recommend you trying this. I did mess up my tablespoons and teaspoons when I was doing the voiceover recording, which I apologise for. Do make sure that you check the actual recipe above so that you get that correct. But this really is not a complicated recipe. Yes, there's some stirring, yes, there's some shredding, and yes, there's some chopping, and a bit of chucking boiling water over things. But other than that, it is really very simple, and it is just too tasty for you not to try it. It makes enough for two to four people, and we had two large bowls, and there was plenty left over for another time. So I really do recommend this.